Do it for the culture. Culture. They gon' buy like vultures. Vulture. Wait. But but since you said that click, this, this, on that shit, since you said that click hopper shit, right? I gotta yeah. address it because niggas gotta get off that, right? We the only niggas we in Oakland. If you go look, this is the problem Future is having with uh, the boy uh, 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 Rocco. Rocco right now. The nigga had a bag. The nigga had talent. Right. The confusion happened. You know what I'm saying? He became a bigger star than that nigga. I don't know if he. I don't know what they pockets looking like. Could possibly have more money, right? Mm-hmm. But it caused friction. So what I'm saying is, niggas in Oakland be like, yeah, that nigga was click hop. No, niggas, somebody was trying to do business. Somebody was trying to become a label. At some point, that was Top Dog. Yeah. At some point, that was Death Row. Yeah. At some point, that was whoever. You know what I'm saying? A thousand niggas throw their shit in the pot, somebody gonna blow up. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's like a false representation. We ain't gang banging the labels, man. Get the fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but in my, in my case, though, the reality of it is, since I've been in the real rap industry, I only been with one label. I only been with Livewire. Officially. Until I, until I started my own shit. Officially, you only yeah, been with Livewire. Livewire, what people don't, what nobody know, we never was like, we never had no paperwork or nothing like that. Yeah. And Stalin don't eat off niggas off Livewire. Yeah. That's the misconception. That no, I knew people. that. Though. Stalin yeah. is the most stand up nigga ever. Um, what what, have what would you call it? What would you call that? A co-op? That's a co-op, yeah. nigga. We loyal to this brand. We use yeah. this brand. We pushing this shit. Yeah, because I found out the other day the Wu Tang niggas couldn't use the W. I thought that was ridiculous. Somebody else got that. Damn. I thought I thought that was Man. great. Like y'all can't use nigga can't brush. put it on his album. Damn. <laughs> what? That's lame. As nigga fuck. can't sell a T-shirt. You I mean, got yeah, with the Wu. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm no, 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 that's not their business. Like, that's the like industry. what I said. I'm talking about what I said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I said Did that's lame as fuck. I mean, club, like a few months ago, when the nigga who made the logo said, How much you got for it? Man, <laughs> I was like, Bro, this is a trap. That's man. crazy. If we would have knew that back then. We might not have respected that. Come shit on, man. You're talking about the interview when dude said he was branding all the different logos, like the Martin logo and. No, no, this nigga no. created. This the nigga who was the, on there. Okay, okay. I saw that one too. Yeah, that nigga created. Yeah, yeah, he made, a, yeah. Yeah, he made like three three dollars. Dollars. some shit that's made a billion. Yeah, man. So, so at the but time, Stalin is a stand up nigga. Yeah, stand up nigga. Listen, bro, I was the first nigga to make live wire shirts. Stalin used to hit me and be like, nigga, I need this color. Right. That's how real he was. That's what you feel me? Man. Now, if he didn't fuck with me. That nigga could have signed me for a nigga a quarter bird. Nigga. Right. He could have said, nigga, I got nine zips. <laughs> signed this paper. Yeah. And yeah. I would have been like, what? I love this label. I yeah. Like, yeah. That's real talk. That life, bro. You know what I'm no matter what. And I knew that. I could yeah. tell. And nigga, everybody still love him. You know what I'm saying? All niggas that fuck with him, because he could have did it to a yeah, bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. He could have signed oh, yeah. Filthy, blood, yeah. everybody. And he worked his ass off. We talked about you that with the mechanics. The nigga was at Mingles. I first seen the nigga rap the 400 Degrees. I swear it felt like 10 minutes. I don't know why it felt like they ran the beat back. But that nigga was gone. Man. But but so y'all y'all put out you y'all put out this album as a group, right? And, 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 you and Bo Dollar, right? See, that was, I was burning them on a, this the CD me and Dollar had, it really wasn't even me. It sounded like you was trying to get a quarter bird for real. <laughs> it sounded like, nigga, uh, what happened, nigga? I, no, I was burning these nigga on the computer, them Ebo Nick CDs. Oh, okay. They wasn't even, I didn't even know how to press shit up back then. And they was for sale. Yeah. So niggas was buying them. Right. You feel me, nigga? I was coloring one blue color in this one, red, green, red, whatever red. markers was around my daughter had. Yeah. Nigga, and <laughs> niggas was buying them. I, I just wanted them to have it. And niggas was fucking. Shout out my nigga H, man. Harlan, nigga. That was one of the first. Shout out to H. H. Nigga, Harlan be on the corner right now, right now when I walk up. 
Yeah. That nigga be like, <laughs> rap, you gonna go to the studio? I be like, yeah, why, what's up? He be like, cause that nigga joke, blood. That nigga, I'm telling you, blood, ain't gat, yeah. Baby rapper, nigga, I'm saying, yeah. you, you gonna hang it up? You gonna retire? <laughs> that nigga be like, that nigga joke. Hey, I, I, yeah, I, we call that nigga right now, and I say hey. that nigga say, he's like, man, hey, that man. nigga right there, days, that nigga man. go so hard for you, blood, and all day. Every time yeah. I do something that I think you don't like, I just yeah. say, he don't let no nigga get. He don't let no nigga get nothing off about no rappers, nigga. Yeah, he be yeah. like, nigga, Stevie Joe, kill him. Nigga, I don't fuck what y'all talking That's about. Ain't really listen. Yeah, 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 he an old school rap nigga. I, my thing is, I came too late. Just like I said, all them times when I was with all them other labels. Yeah. If I ever would have knew what I knew when I finally got it. Yeah. I would have been, you feel me? I'd be sitting back like, nigga, I'm too short, Stevie Joe, you feel me? We'd be on some conversation like that. But you yeah. feel me? Niggas never gave me the game. Yeah. You feel me? Because now you be working your ass off. Hey, I shout said. out this nigga Jeezy, too. This nigga uh, Jeezy used to be signing this. He used to come pick me up from the hood and take me to their lab. The lab where I now, where I record all my shit. The okay. engineer who he used to take, who he introduced me to, Still is fuck my with motherfucking him. brother. Mm. He on my album about 10 times, too, nigga. Uh, right. uh, so shout out Jeezy. For shout out, to, together, shout out Jeezy, man. This album, I, bro, this album, God, bro, <clears throat> I'm telling you, I ain't never, I never gave 100% since I've been rapping. You're going in I right now. I ain't never, ever just been like, all right, I'm finna record this new songs and pick. I never did that. Yeah. All that shit y'all hear, I wasn't, the songs y'all like, I wasn't even writing that shit. I was on the couch, sleep, while it filthy, making me get on the song, all kind of shit, bro. Because I know you raw, nigga. Like, I know you raw. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's why I don't be mad. When people be like, you underrated, it's like, y'all don't understand. I really, I don't take the extra steps that everybody do. I remember in the past, you didn't fuck with the pen. You still don't fuck with the pen or you? My last four songs, no pen. No pen. Yeah, because I got this song with Eddie. And Eddie is the one that's, look, that's another thing. I ain't even got the Eddie part yet. Eddie, bro, listen, bro. I've been all around this shit. Nigga, Eddie Projects, bro. I was that nigga hype man. That's how I know how to perform. Right. That's why when I had my first show, people didn't know it was my first show. Shout out to Eddie P. No bro, bro. Eddie used to come get me from the hood like, Stevie, I ain't going unless you going. I need you, bro. Huh. I need you. Huh. And nigga, he didn't even know. I was petrified. Like, nigga, huh. I'm scared. You feel me? Yeah. I didn't tell them, but you feel me? Yeah. But, bro, and shit. Then, I, <coughs> you played the shit out of that one. Yeah, I'm saying, bro. Hey, I get nervous every time I go on stage. Every show, I never not been nervous. Still, never, not one time. That's why you rip shit up. Because when the nervous go down, it's over. Yeah. Once you, Once on, you look at the motherfuckers out there and it's going, it's the over. The music play is on. Yeah, I just, I think I'd be nervous. Like, man, let's make sure you say everything right. right. You feel me? Yeah. I don't know. Once you see the people, nigga, and they be juiced when they say my name and motherfucker make a noise, then you like, fuck, it, it's over. Huh. The biggest crowd you've right. been in front of. <clears throat> Shit, many people, man. And what city was that, bro? Oh, man, to be honest, the biggest show, not, yeah, it was, I guess it was the biggest. The biggest and the best show I ever did was in Chico, Beer Can Beach. Okay. It's the shit where all the college kids get on the rafts. Oh, yeah. And they just, everybody float down the beach. They got the thing playing the music. Yeah. And so shit like, like what we had yeah. at uh, Los Isles. Okay. Probably. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Me and Bill P. and Stalin. And we performed, nigga. <laughs> we stood on it. They had a, a bucket. And we stood on the bucket every time it was one nigga rapping and held the nigga up. Damn. 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 Nigga, if you look that shit up on YouTube. <clears throat> I've seen it. Bro, it's so many fucking people. Yeah, when, that, I, right? when I, like, I didn't know until I stand up on the thing. When I stood up on the thing and seen all the people I got, I was like, oh, oh shit. Is that right? Damn. And that song dropped, nigga, they start going crazy. I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I started going in, bro, but that was, man, I, I had some good, good time. Feeling, man. Yeah, so, dude. so, so. And that was outside, so that would be better. How many you think that was? 
They said it'd be like 10,000, 20,000. That motherfucker was gone. Bro, the whole Chico was lit. Lit. That's a party city. Chico's the hood. It's College Town. College Town. Nigga, we went to the pizza shop, nigga. They kicked us out, nigga. It was lit. That was some super rock star ass shit, bro. So, so I kind of want to get back to you, like, getting into your... Like your early days of Livewire, like coming over there, like how did that happen? Who did you talk to? Who did you look up with? <laughs> Man, yo, it's, I just was telling all these stories to my partner in the lab the other day. But, nigga, me and Filthy, okay, okay, look, the block, I made the block statue CD, right? We gotta go back. I made mm-hmm. the block statue CD, right? Uh, so I pressed this shit up, right? No, matter of fact, I had the block statue. I didn't even have a block statue CD. I was getting filthy on the song, right? I always been cool with Phil. So I'm getting him on the song, right? So we had paid somebody a six million dollar pay somebody a six fifty deposit for the CDs, right? Mm-hmm. They was charging us thirteen hundred for a thousand CDs. Okay. So we in the lab doing a verse for the next project, which was Thuggy Fresh, getting filthy on something. Okay. So he like, nah, he like, nah, I don't, uh, he like, nigga, I know where you go, nigga, to get them for uh, 700, 4,000. So mm. we like, hold on, we put $50 with our deposit and we got the CDs? And we ain't got to, nigga, we think we got to hustle up the rest of the money. Right, bro. right. That nigga like, man, listen, bro, I'm going to put you on, you feel me? Mm. The same nigga who pressed up my CD to this day, I just spent 500 racks with this nigga. Wow. So, you feel me? The same <coughs> Damn. Nigga. That's why I be telling people, bro, that's why I fuck with Phil. Like, right. Nigga, I know that nigga heart. I know right. how, I know him for real. Right. You feel me? I know what kind of nigga he is. Right. That's why I deal with him accordingly. You right. You feel me? Right. Like, we good, fam. Right. I talk to that nigga all the time, bro. Huh. Like, nigga, I'm not no... If I was a show and tell nigga, like nigga, I go when I'm in his house, I'd be like, oh nigga, what's this? Right. I ain't never Yo, seen bro. you do that. I ain't never bro, seen you do that. This nigga it. left me in his house when we was recording Filthy Fresh 3. This nigga had to go somewhere. This nigga just left me. So right. I'm here. I right. just gotta record myself. Right. Call some call this nigga if you need this. Call this nigga if you need this. Right. You feel me? I'm right. Like, I could be a bitch ass booty nigga on you. Yeah. House, nigga. Right. Right. Just right. wearing shoes and right. no red bottoms. Yeah. No, I'm not no hoe ass nigga, bro. I came in this shit already grown. Like, nigga, I'm right. not. Right, the kids. So I'm not right. gonna do weird shit. Plus, we gotta go. We gotta speak on this. Nigga been around money. Yeah, nigga been around money. About we ain't even talk yeah, about yeah. that. Should we yeah. talk about that? I swear, I'm about to make a movie. Nigga been around money. Yeah, let me hear the story. Bro, this, this so can we? So, so can we? So, so can we? So can we tell?